if you want to have such effects like this or this or even like these two so stay with me i will show you how you make them via premiere pro hi there welcome to crypto studio today i want to show you how to make such effects that i showed you at the beginning of the video like lower thirds like introducing your channel or introducing yourself uh, for your videos and for that first of all i want to tell you uh, how to download them where to find them uh, you know, I have already purchased, I have bought actually all of these uh, Premiere Pro templates or After Effects templates or even uh, different other kinds of templates for editing. So you don't need to buy them anymore. You can easily uh, find them and download them from my website, which is CryptoStudium.com. The link is into the description and you can even find the link into the YouTube banner of my channel. So you easily come to this part, which is called GFX download. And when you come here, as you can see, there is there has been written download Premiere Pro and After Effects templates freely. But also we have Photoshop, sound effects, Apple motion templates, edits templates, footage, footage and different other kinds of stuffs that they are, gonna, they are all going to be updated very soon. Before I have uh, showed you how to install Premiere freely uh, via my website. So uh, little by little, we are upgrading these sections as well. You come to Premiere Templates. Uh, you can see four templates in here, but it will be updated. All these pages will be updated in a very short period of time. We are working on all of them. You can easily see, uh, as you can see, you can easily see the templates. You can see uh, the demo of them like this. And even this one, you can easily see the demo and you can download them freely. As I told you, I have already bought them from Motion Array or different other websites. So you don't need to pay any money and you can download them freely for your Premiere Pro. So imagine you have downloaded them into this uh, computer or any other computer you use. Uh, I have extracted the file and something like this uh, will be appeared. Then I press on Premiere Pro. In Premiere Pro, there is something like unique subscribe lower thirds, and then I open it. So if this convert project window actually popped up, so you can easily press OK, it's gonna produce another file of that. There's no problem with this. So as you can see, this is the default uh, lower third. This is the default thing that the Premiere is showing us. But if you want to find the different kinds of uh, templates like these for example as you can see we have one two three four or for example the other one uh, maybe we have a different kinds of as you saw here we have different other kinds of templates as well so if you want to find them easily you should come to this section and in the folder you can easily find them all you can see edit comes final comes into the final comes you can easily see the lower thirds and when you open that you see the lower third one lower third two lower third three four and the sequences are all available for example i press lower third four and then i can see that this is uh, the template number four in here so uh, if i want to come to the uh, sequence section which is here as you see all these layers are green green means that they are all nested which means that they are mother layers and inside them there might be some other layers as well how when I press mask shape, for example, this and I press on it, as you can see, one of them is graphic. We have nothing to do with that. The other one is another nest layer, which is hand. And when I click on it, there will be a hand inside. You can easily change this hand to any other kind of hand that you like. You can bring the picture inside the sequence and fit it with this black square so that you have added another tom shape instead of this green one. So uh, I don't want to do anything with these things they are okay i want to have them and i just come to for example mask shape 2 which is i think the bell if i don't make a mistake yes and the next part is shape box which is subscribe you can write any other thing that you want for example how the graphic has nothing to do you come to the mask edit text it is written actually in here so you don't lose it when you press on it you can easily come here again you can press on it you must press on green layers until you see this uh, purple layer so that this is something that you want to edit until the time that you haven't seen that purple layer or you see the green layer this is not editable so you have to come this far to get into this place so when you get here you can easily click on that and type whatever you want so i'm not going to do that i will close them 
and I get back to the main uh, lower third scheme or the main lower third project so in here there will be something like mask edit text so if I click on that so if I get back to see oh yes that's this so you can easily change it for example I this is a green layer again so I cannot edit it I have to click on it until the time that I see the purple one I see the purple one now then I can click it and then I can click on the text or I can select all or type for example something like thanks for uh, subscribing me and then when I go back to the main project you see that it is changed to thanks for subscribing me and you come to the next part which is mask it so try to close these uh, open sequences in order to make it somehow visible not to make a mess you come to the next part motion canyon for example and you can again press this green layer because it is nested you cannot do anything with mother you have to go inside the mother to find the babies and this is the baby when I click that again for the motion canyon I type for example crypto studio and then when I get back to the project I see that this is changed to crypto studio but there is a small problem as you can see this part let me zoom in a bit as you can see C is not visible completely let me make it a bit bigger again in here so what should I do I should get back there and as you can see in here you can do something you can make that smaller for example uh, the font can be smaller for example 138 you can change it to 128 for example and then press enter then go back to see what happened we still have the problem or you can do something else you can go to the nested layer which is this and on the sequence click somewhere go to the sequence sequence settings and increase the uh, vertical to for example 250 and then press ok if I do that and if I go back there again we have the problem but I can do something else because if I make my sequence somehow bigger we will have plenty of space in here so what can I do I can come to the lawyer press on effect control vector motion and then I push it a bit forward like this so I uh, somehow can get back to the lower third and then you can see the C is completely okay so let's see if other parts are okay as well yes the other parts are okay as well so if you want to change a sequence size as I told you it's better to work on the mother layer on the green layers for example this or even you can come back and um, work on you can also work on this layer as well if you click in this area for example and you go to the sequence and sequence settings you can easily change the size of this black uh, space so that this crypto studio can be fit or whatever you want to write can be fit inside uh, this rectangular or square or whatever but you need to make sure that you do not type something big or something uh, that cannot be uh, fit into the project so normally it must be a name in here and it has been written something like that and then I came back and I saw that the C is placed uh, in a good position so it is not inside other layers or under other layers so uh, there will be something like mask edit placeholder when I click on that so let me close those extra things there will be something like edit placeholder this is green which means there is something inside that when I open it there is nothing so what should we do in this edit placeholder you can bring a picture so I'm just gonna bring a picture here okay for example I'm bringing a picture here and then I will drag it for example up to here I go back to the main project to see what happened you see you see for example the picture is so big if I play the preview you see something like this is happening so the picture is so big what can I do I can get back to the picture I come to the motion I have it uh, actually in one of the tutorials of changing the size of the pictures or doing basic things on your project picture or video you can find them easily into the channel if you haven't subscribed me yet please do that this is really appreciated like the videos and share it with the others so you can easily find all these uh, tutorials in 
uh, playlist into the channel. So I make it a bit smaller and I get back to the project to see what happened. It got a bit smaller. So what happens to this green color? I can come to the edit mask placeholder and there will be something like edit placeholder. Let's see if I bring uh, the picture here, what happens. So I will bring the picture here and I go back to the lower third for, uh -huh. as you can see, this layer has nothing to show. So let me go back to the edit mask placeholder into the edit placeholder and delete this one and go back to the lower third again. As you can see, now I have fit my picture inside the square, but as you can see, the picture is somehow big for this compound. So again, I will come here to the placeholder and bring the video down come back to the lower third and then you can see that my head is just more visible but still it doesn't satisfy me go back there bring it a bit down again and make it smaller so if I go back here as you can see now my picture is completely placed uh, in a better shape so there is nothing else to do if I come to here you can see this is the uh, shape of uh, that motion actually we have nothing to do with that when I go back to the beginning as you can see this is moving like this and the picture is coming and everything is okay so if you want to do this for different other kinds of sequences for example this you can do exactly the same you can change the shapes because they are all green there are lawyers inside them so you can come to edit logo you can add a logo here for example uh, imagine this is my logo for example and when I bring my logo here I go back to the lower third shape let me clean my sequence area as you can see my logo has come here and even I can bring my own picture too because this green big square shows that I can bring a picture in here so I come to edit mask placeholder into the edit placeholder you can bring a picture like this for example and drag it as why do I drag this layer forward because if I don't do that and I go back to the layer as you can see these parts are not visible which means that my picture will be disappeared from here it means that if the video goes forward these parts do not show my picture so let's stay away and don't risk it and come here and drag it until the end of uh, the sequence it doesn't matter if it goes more further because when the sequence is finished there won't be anything else to show so if I go back as you can see my picture and my logo are both available in here then you can come to mask edit text and you can go inside the text and you can change this again to whatever you want and go back here and this is what you can do with uh, this template you can easily extract it the extraction is very important you need to extract it with uh, RGB alpha format for that you press home on your keyboard first of all you click on this sequence space from somewhere like here you click on it you press home then press I on your keyboard then it becomes gray and it shows that you're selecting the area then you come to the end of the sequence by pressing end button on your keyboard and then press O when I press O it selects just the range of my sequence nothing more then you can come to this export option at the top of Premiere Pro screen or you can easily press Ctrl plus M and then you will be directed to the export area. In here you can see the work area is selected. You should change the format to QuickTime, very important. And after that you should come and give it a name, whatever you want. Then you should open the video section. In here, there is something like video codec. Open that. There is something like Apple ProRes 4444. You select it. And then you come here into the depth part. There is something like 8BPC. I need to choose 8BPC plus alpha. When I do that, then I can press export. When I export it, the background of my project is transparent and I can put it on any. Uh, video or picture no because they are motion uh, somehow sequences so 
you can put it on any video that you want like this that you can show on this video for example and then you can do the same for every other uh, lower third template or every other transparent motion uh, graphic or any other mm, transparent videos like this so uh, this was somehow the templates in um, Premiere Pro we will have the next two tutorials I mean uh, these two that you're seeing on the video right now I will show you how you change them how you make them actually three because at the beginning of the video I showed you four of them and this is this one template of that so I try to cover the next three templates into the next video so that uh, this video will be a bit shorter so uh, but main procedure what you should do what you can do uh, the most important parts are uh, highlighted in this video wait for the next one in the next one we will uh, cover those three templates and I will show you how to make those three uh, videos those three lower thirds for your videos actually and um, to make your video somehow charming to show your channel to introduce yourself please subscribe my channel hit the notification button like my videos and share it with others this is really appreciated and thanks for joining crypto studio see you later